Hi everyone, it's Money Saving Coupon Gale and I have another Dollar Tree haul. I feel like I'm going there several times a week now just to look for new items that they might have in the store and so far I've been having some luck and I just enjoy going through their store. So if you're addicted to Dollar Tree like I am, I hope you're enjoying my hauls and even if you're not addicted yet, I hope you're enjoying them and maybe you'll become addicted like I am because every store seems to have a little bit of variation of things and also the deal store that are now Dollar Tree stores have excellent selection on things. They have stuff that the regular Dollar Tree stores don't have. So I'm always excited when I find one of those and go to it. And that's what I did today. Actually, I didn't know it was a, a previous deal store until I was in there and I saw the shopping cart said deals and they had some items that weren't marked a dollar. They were marked higher. And of course, they're a dollar now. So, so I've been going to a few stores lately trying to find some more of the paper cupcake holders to um, use for Memorial Day and also I wanted to find some more for 4th of July. Maybe they'll have more closer to 4th of July but they have some of the patriotic ones which I showed in a previous video but only one store has had them and I still can't find the one with the American flag on it and that's the one I'm trying to locate. So anyways, so while I'm there of course I'm always looking at other things. So today I went and I got some more of the Wise Cheese um, doodles. Just love these. So I picked up actually two more bags of these. I got two bags. And then I got this for the front yard. They only had one left. I thought it was really cute. Um, red and blue. It's getting caught on the tag here but it spins real nice and stuff. And it has the stake to go into the ground. It's not very high, so I'll probably put it right by the front porch or something. But I love all these little spinning things. So I picked up one of these. And like I said, I would have got more, but they only had one left. And then I got this um, Sure Sense, and I got it in lavender. And I'm not sure how well this works. I've never used it before, so if you know, if you could please let me know if you like it. But I'm going to put it in uh, my mother-in-law's bedroom and see if it helps a little bit in there um, with her cat and stuff. So it just has the opening here and you just unscrew this and you take the cover off and screw it back on. So from what I could smell, it smelled really good. I love lavender, so I picked that up. They also had the ones with the little like um, beads, like kind of like the... Um, silicone beads they look like but I thought well let me try this one it was a bigger container first and then next I got was of course two of my favorite items they're buff puffs and the last time I got some I got them with the little sponges in them and this time I didn't get the sponges they had those also and they also had some with the gold on them but I chose without, and I'm going to do a um, favorite and not so favorite items from Dollar Tree, and in that video you will find out why I got these instead of the one with the sponges. And then I got, oh, that was in my driveway, that's for my free magazine. <laughs> and then I got two more of the A&D cream, since I forgot to get it before. Um, we need this. It's going to be a while before my husband's uh, tattoo heals, so he needs to keep using this. My tattoo is um, healing a lot quicker than his because it's a lot smaller. So I got some more two tubes of that for him to have. And then I saw this Blazin' Steakhouse Style Steak and Chop Seasoning. And I just watched a video where someone got this seasoning and they said it was really good. So I thought I would pick it up and try it and then if we like it, they had a lot there, I might go back and grab some more because they had said it was a seasonal thing. So I'm going to try this and see how it, how good it is because it's always good to try um, different seasoning. At least we do because we're in Florida so we barbecue all year round so we're always putting seasoning stuff on our meat. And then I got this tape measure set and it has the cloth tape um, like measuring for um, 
when you're sewing and then it's got the regular tape measure and I thought this was really cute and actually my cloth one is starting to fray a little so I needed to replace that and I thought this would be nice to carry either in my purse or in the car because it seems like whenever you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or something you're always saying oh I wish I had a brought the um, measuring tape to measure something and then the next thing I got was this red mixing bowl and what I liked about it is that it has the handle here, big handle, and it's also got the pour spout there. So that makes it easier to pour if you're making cupcakes or muffins or anything. It gets it out of the bowl, you know, less messy than just pouring it out. And so I thought I would pick one of these up because I will be making cupcakes soon. And then I found this seven day pill reminder and I didn't see where it's had like days or anything on it. I don't see any writing on it, but it's all different colors. And I got this to put my little um, glitter and, and stents, little uh, nail art stuff in. Because they all the jars screw on, the lid screw on. So I'm going to open it and see. And it looked like it all screwed together. Yes, it does. See, it all screws together. Hopefully, hopefully it screws together. Hopefully I didn't get one that's broken. Because it doesn't have a lid. Actually, what it does is it screws, the bottom screws onto the top. Okay, there. So the top one is the only one that has a lid. The rest of them, the lid is actually the bottom of the one before. So I thought this would be really nice to use to put nail um nail artwork in and stuff, little stencils and decals and stuff like that, and the pretty good size. So anyways, it was different colors. I thought that was really cute, so I picked that up for that. And then I got this because um, I just watched a video. I love watching other people's Dollar Tree hauls because they come up with ideals for things that you may not have thought of. Now, I would... I've seen these before and I really didn't think that the brush was probably going to really be worth anything. It would probably, you know, after a couple uses it would be trash. But I saw somebody did a video where they bought one of these and they filled it up, I think, with vinegar and something else. I have to look. Um, if I find the video, I'll put it in the um, comments or, um, yeah, I'll put it in the comments. But you fill it up here. This comes off, and you can fill it up in the hole there. Fill this section up. And they had this one, which is the Scrub Buddies. And then they also had the Brillo one. But I got the Scrub Buddies because they had the two-pack refills with the Scrub Buddies. And they didn't. I didn't see any refills for the Brillo one. So they just snap on in the back and what they did was I should have finished and told you that what they did was they filled it up and said it was really good to scrub your shower with to if you had any mold or any um, hard water spots or any soap scum or anything that it worked really good so I picked up that and got the refills just in case I needed them and then I went back and I've been thinking about organizing. Now I have a pantry, um, you know, regular pantry, but I actually use that to store like all my containers, my bowls, my cookware, or not cookware, but bakeware. Just I have it filled with stuff. Um, I have a lot of lock and lock items. So it's a really big pantry and one shelf is just lock and lock stuff. And then I just have, it's just filled from top to bottom. I have a huge, I have like five, five shelves or six shelves in there so people have been showing how nice their pantry looks well I have a big rack in my kitchen that I store a lot of extra food on and I was like well wait a minute maybe I should do that use the containers on there so I bought they only had four so I bought four of these containers and I like how they have the little white grip on them they have the holes they're a little decorative they're good size to hold things because on the shelf, um, it I have like you know dressing you know bottles of stuff, uh, 
cans, well, cans I have one of those things that, you know, the can just rolls down when you pull one out. But I have a lot of, um, a lot of different items on there. And I'm drawing a blank now, don't ask me why. But anyways, I am. And thought these would be excellent to put all the stuff in there to store it. And then they had some more of these with the bonus buy where you got four instead of three and this was in my last haul also I bought some of these in red and I used 11 of them in my um, cuttery um, drawer can't think um, and it worked out great I have everything separated so I thought well this would be nice for like little packages of things maybe like you know like the the Thousand Island dressing, onion mix, whatever, the little packages, chili powder, um, or chili mixes, just, you know, all fajita mixes, all the little mixes, McCormick, or is it McCormick? Or just the different packages that you can buy of stuff. I thought this would be perfect for that. It's just the white, right width, I think, where you could put one on each, you know, one here, one here, and then pile them up. So I got that. And then... I also bought this, which I've never seen at any of the other stores, is a cake decoration kit. And I know it's not the greatest um, quality and stuff, but I really wanted to try this because when I make the cupcakes this month for Memorial Day, I want to, um, I should have actually bought three, I want to come up with some way to frost them other than just with the spatula, you know, putting the frosting on there. And I want to do a three color frosting. I want to try to do red, white, and blue. So I'm thinking maybe I can do that with this. I'm going to have to see and experiment a little. But I picked this up. It's got, what, five different tips and it's got the bag. So for a dollar, it's worth trying. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I don't even know what the different designs are it doesn't say on here so I guess I will have to just try them and see I don't see where it says on the tip either so it just says five design tips so I guess I will have to try it out and see how well that works and um, that was it that was all that I got so that was my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it um, please leave any comments or questions below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks to all my new subscribers and until um, next time, thanks everyone for watching. Bye.